Welcome to a new episode of Everlasting Summer, Lena Root. I woke up because somebody was shaking my shoulder. It was just hard for me to open my eyes, so I just went with it tickly. Mm -hmm. Get up already, you're going to miss the lineup. Once I realized that Olga wanted uh, from me and what time it was, I rolled over my fa to face the wall. Mm -hmm. I was so tired that I wanted to choke the camp leader just so she would quite stop my recovery from hellish yesterday. Senor, get up immediately. I mustered my strength over my eye and sat up. Ugh. Olga! I understand, but I had to had to hurt day yesterday. I fell asleep in the last day. I started uh, bleeding. It's out of the question. Line up is mandatory for every pioneer, and you have already missed it a few times. You are very naughty, naughty boy. My head went completely numb, so I just couldn't find any argument about against her that. In a couple of minutes, we were already standing at the square. I dozed off, taking great pain to not fall asleep on my feet, so I missed everything that Olga announced. The majority of the pioneers seemed to feel the same. Electronic yawn. Yeah. Alicia had a huge buggy eye. Ugh. Only Juliana seemed to be full of health and energy, as always. Wee, wee, wee. I swept my eye over the lineup yet again and couldn't find Lena. Oh, and Sylvia, that's odd. Uh, generally, she's a delight and community girl. It's uh, unlike her to miss such an event. On the other hand, that was too much for her yesterday, such stress. She probably depressed. Oh. I thought just behavior from her was very surprising. I mean, I suspect that she was not the kind of person she want other to see her as, but never expect such a drastic change. Lena amazingly somehow remind me of Alicia, even more harsh and brutal at time. Ah, me. Come here, fight me! We're to combat! Uh, Lena, no! Ah! And now I was not sure how to behave around her. I was simply afraid of her. Finally, lineup was over and the pioneer dragged themselves off to breakfast. Miko got me with uh, me near the uh, canteen. Simu, good morning! How did you sleep in your dream? How are you ready for breakfast? She is always bumbling without a break, editing a cute smile at the same time. <laughs> she looked more like Sailor Moon than Miku. I'm okay. I answered uh, Lizzie. Today is a quite gloomy, maybe because of the weather is a quiet dark. It me even rain, so yeah, everyone is sad and gloomy. I thought maybe something happened, but no one told me what. Can you imagine that sometime happened, and everyone know what about? Apart from me, I was sad about it, but then. Don't worry, you won't miss the end of the world. I deliver a snarky remark. <laughs> it looked like uh, she was uh, so into her monologue that she was completely oblivious to everything around her. And if you are going to miss it somehow, I will make sure to let you know. Nothing, enjoy the, your meal. I marched to the canteen with a firm step to get my daily protein or of fats, uh, protein and carbohydrate. 
to my surprise, I sat in the far corner was free. Yay! I sat down, tried every really hard to make face that will let everyone know that there are no need to come uh, anyway near me unless there were an emergency i said i uh, wanted to sit alone and think moreover keeping my mind off other things was uh, make me less sleepy hi my hi mind if i join you i said for sylvia because she's so snoozy i did not notice sylvia standing there Strange, because I am a ninja. Ish. Sure. I answered after uh, has uh, has it for a second. Uh, bad mo bad mood. A bit. Did something happen? Uh, not really. Uh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but that means you have to tell me. There's nothing to tell you about. Hmm. Uh, where did you go last night? Me? Oh, I just went to the be alone for a while. If you come to me, we will have a scene where you had sex and everything, but you didn't. That's not like you. I felt a bit more lively. Uh, really? Well, maybe. It's also not often that uh, you are seen so gloomy. So she might be alright. Even in the most and for for forevable circumstances, I've always tried to have a positive outlook on things. Not that I was an optimist; I just always tried not to feel too down. Keeping my private life in mind, it's only natural. As soon as a little depression gets hold of you, the nose will start to look very appealing. Uh, perhaps. When Sylvia was done with her uh, meal, I was uh, still booking the porridge with uh, my school. Uh, I'll be going. By the way, have you seen Lena? No. Why do you ask? You have me. Uh, I didn't see her in the morning lineup. Uh, that odd. That not like her. Maybe you are right. I don't think it's a big deal, to be honest. Yes, of course, I was just uh, wondering. I sat uh, for a while more minute in place and then headed outside without finishing my breakfast. Today was quite gloomy. Gloomy Sunday. The first gloomy day during my time here. It's kind of uh, gotten used to the bright and burning sun. The heat that wore only supper by the evening seemed to be uh, irreplaceable compared to this place. It looked like even here the weather changed after all. Almost like it is match my mood. Uh, I don't think the weather care about you that much. It uh, looked like just more proof that uh, this place or its creators are sentient and have a great storytelling skill. <laughs> Meta and the writer of this game is like, yeah, you know, <sighs> this is a proof that we are a great storyteller. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, it's a fuck up. No, no, really, fuck up. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Like, <laughs> oh, the writer of this game. Sometimes I really want to focus on a single theory of mine, construct it, and forget about all others. Just to, to decide for myself that it is all done by aliens or I am in the barrel universe. Or witchcraft or military experience. Just to pick one and be done with it. To stop thinking about all purpose explanation that situation constantly jumping from one to the other just to focus on a single but it's impossible i have almost no fact about anything because i was focusing on the girl route not my story route nothing extraordinary has happened to me here at all yes some odd things took place but 
they can and be, do happen in the real world too. After yet another cycle of a similar thought, I find myself at the bus stop of Route 410 and the gate of the camp so far. No, no answer, no hint, no clues. I was walking whatever my leg were talking me. It was quiet in the residential area. Not a single person there to be precise. Oh, electronic, huh? My astonishment uh, grew even more when electronic appeared around the next uh, turn. I wanted to call out to him but stopped because he was going to a little too uh, confidently in the unknown direction. It is strange that uh, go against uh, his nature. Anyway, what can I talk with the electronic about? Hmm. And yeah, I have uh, to start the conversation first. Seems uh, like I was completely in despair. Despair? <laughs> Monaco is here. Like, uh, oh, this game ruined the word despair for me. Uh, just check Rangaramba. Uh, uh, However, it will be interesting to find him and to find out where he is rushed in. As a child, I like games of spies, and here is a chance to put myself into a real spy shoe. Hmm. Spy shoes are not comfortable that much. I decided not to sneak and hide in a special way and just uh, tell him quietly at distance. Soon, we come to the library. Electronic kicked knock and went inside. I stood behind a, a big tree, nobody could see me and began to wait. He was absent uh, for quite a long time. Perhaps uh, this is a stupid idea because in fact what di difference does it make if he went to the library? Maybe he just decided to get uh, something to read? He was walking fast, so what? Perhaps he has uh, some business after work. This <laughs> was right. My thought was uh, distracted by loud door slam. Wow, is there on love or something? I looked over the library and saw electronic running away from there. And Zanya who ran after him shouting along the way. I don't want to hear it anymore or to see you either. They rush run past me, but naturally they were so involved in chasing they didn't notice me. Good. The whole situation seemed very funny and I decided that I needed to find out what the matter was. I wonder where could electronic be running to like that? Uh, infirmary then cut here. Infirmary. Where have she run to the infirmary? No, they're obviously a silly idea. Uh, clubhouse, clubhouse. Kitchen, dining hall. Hiding in the cutting would be a bad decision. However, he wasn't here either. Yes, it is obviously that he runs right to the his nurse cybernetic club. I entered without knocking but didn't find anyone inside. Electronic? It's me. The sound for step come from the next room and soon electronic himself appeared. Hi Simon! I I'm just his eyes run guilty and his shirt has visible a trace of a sweet. Oh, he eats her sweet. Uh, going in for support, I see. Spring thing. <laughs> I, you saw that? He asked, doomed. Yes, be, barely by chance. So I decided to stop by and ask how you were doing and what happened. Nothing especially, really. Indeed, feeling from the angry library is nothing. You can tell me. I smiled. Really? And won't you tell? Of course. Silence as a de the dead. Trust my heart. The steam extension here, but looked like it had convinced him. Okay. He took deep breath, gathering strength. You know, I liked Zarnia since the first. Whoa, really? I didn't know that. 
At this word, I wanted to fall on the floor and start roaring around, shaking by violent attack of laughter. But out of respect for him, Refine still his uh, his next few words flew past my eyes. So this is why we don't have Zani, uh, Zarya's uh, root because uh, she is electronic girlfriend or something. And so I just decided. Well, and you s and you saw what happened next. The brave fellow indeed. Uh, well, you uh, try harder, I guess, and you will succeed. I patted him on the shoulder, trying really hard not to laugh. Thank you for support, he smiled sadly. Okay, I have to go, I have some more to do. So, it's not important. I shot out the clubhouse like a bullet and finally left out loud. However, if you think about it, Eric and Zanya will make a wonderful couple. They are actually a perfect match. It is a strange, uh, strange then. Desire reject him. I was going toward the square thinking further about this episode. At the end of the day, electronic is not such a simpleton. Just like that, he decided uh, his love even realized that refusal will follow. Or on the contrary, it is because he just simply as an apple pie. Either way, you can feel the honestly and sincere in his behaviors. More complicated people will spend hours, days, months, years thinking about how to present the, this in the better way. What uh, consequences it uh, could have and whether you should even bother. I would do myself. No, rather I have done so. But he just did it, and successfully, of course. But it would have also gone differently. This thought made me completely melancholic so much that uh, the lunch single, usually so anticipated, didn't uh, trigger any emotion at all. The canteen was clockful. It seemed that the camp was slowly emerged from the morning depression. Maybe the sun that had uh, come out from the cloud uh, corner to that, or maybe something else that I missed uh, while running after electronic. Only that uh, place uh, next to Juliana and Elsha turned out to be free. I braced myself and started to walk toward them. Eat wa eating was uh, still necessary. Can I sit with you? Uh, oh, ju uh, just sit down. Uh, 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 where are you? It's just that uh, you are too cheerful. I am trying to measure the energy balance in the universe. Juliana giggled. <laughs> Oddly enough, the girls uh, did not pay any attention to me and talk about their own concerns. At first I thought I go, but uh, I started to think that they were just uh, taking no notice of me. By the way, where's Lena? Because of all my thinking of uh, completely forgotten about her. I don't know. I'll just uh, wear absently. Uh, hey, she's still not uh, a beer. As you can see. I took a look around the canteen but uh, didn't see her anywhere. And nobody hear anything about her? No. Uh, don't you find it uh, strange? What's so strange? Maybe she's sleeping, maybe sleeping, and something. Uh, seem more like uh, you are talking about yourself. Uh, it's none of your business, is it? Alicia interjected angrily. Well, if a person is missing... Uh, you wouldn't be wanted to strike this appeared. Uh, that is quite different. 
Hey, so what? Shrike is a guy, okay. Yes, and why I wonder? Because she's a cute. Shrike is not cute. I had no answers and just a blanket look at Alicia before going back to my food. Hmm. She did not insist of counting the conversation. Lunch was over, I suddenly stood up and went out to the canteen without goodbye. So, Lena disappeared. What uh, should I do now? On the other hand, why should I do anything? Why me? Where am I and why I am here? Uh, who are all these people? One cannot be able to be sure whatever Lena is what she seems. Perhaps all these doors even exist, so why should I worry? However, for me, now Lena is still the same Lena. The modest, quiet girl I met on the first day. And even her strange behavior could not affect my situation toward her. In the end, it's not uh, certain that I still exist. So, while the world is logically at the less, uh, to some extent, I have to play by its rule. I quickly went to the camp leader cabin. Once inside, I saw all the lying on the bed and reading a book. Mm -hmm. So, a vampire and a wolf fighting for a girl. This sounds okay. Uh, do you know where Selena is? No, why are you asking? I'm worried about her, she's nowhere to be found. She missed both breakfast and lunch. So what? What? <sighs> Olga, I know you awful at your job, but not that awful. She looked at me blankly. What do you mean by what? When Shrek was gone, her whole camp was searching for him. For early morning. Uh, I don't understand you. There are something strange happened to the camp leader again. She was behaving absolutely incomprehensible logically. Uh, do you think it's normal? So where is she now? I don't know. Olga repeated calmly. This is so much. She started to look like them. Ask Miku. Uh, she's her roommate after all. That was a good idea because obviously I will get no more answer here. I went outside, slammed the door, and went to look for Miko and Lena Cabin. It was nice, and the or orchestra girl had told me before where she lived, which is uh, why I was at the door of their cabin a minute later. I should have knocked, but for some reason I couldn't. After a few deep uh, breaths, I knocked on the door several times. Come in! I hear the familiar voice. Ah, hi! Uh, do you know where Selena is? Wait a minute, this is uh, a girl from... Uh, I forget the name of the enemy. She's like a, a god of uh, wood or something. Uh, and this is... Uh, I don't know the others. And look at Lena. Lena is like love nature and stuff like that. No, I haven't seen her today. You looking for her, right? Uh, don't you think it's strange? Uh, by that time, I started to suspect everyone to hide information about Lena, location of conspiracy of uh, involvement, me being here, or uh, Kennedy assassination, and hundreds of other terrible things. Hmm. Well, you know me because she went somewhere and then I just got lost in doing the breakfast music club helping to clean and then lunch and then 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 Okay, I see. And what about yesterday? Was uh, everything normal? Well, she is late and immediately went to bed. I didn't even notice anything wrong. No chance of finding out anything here either. Uh, thanks. 
I sit uh, abruptly and left. Uh, that morning, it seemed to me that uh, the missing Lena was the only living person in this uh, bag of token dummies and I had to find her. However, it seemed almost impossible to do this alone, so I went for help. Sylvia, who will be willing to help me? Of course, Sylvia. <laughs> I said so. I decided that uh, at the time, she would be engaging in cleaning something. For example, the square. Uh, so, I was there. Oh, my guess is right. Oh no. My success didn't let me down. My, <laughs> my spider sense is tickling. Mm, tickling. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Have you seen Lena? No. Why are you asking about another girl? Uh, not like uh, anything between me and you, Sylvia. <gasps> what about the sex we had in the last playthrough? Uh, you remember? I remember everything. Oh, fuck. Nobody seen her uh, since uh, this morning. She was absent during breakfast as well as uh, during lunch. Strange. I also think this is uh, it. To boil it uh, merely strange. Can you help me find her? Oh, sorry. Maybe later. I got a cleaning here to finish. Is the human being life more important than cleaning? I was just a lightning strike. It took a few awkward step back and ran away from this place. No, that was not her. It was as if somebody had replaced her. Not only her, but also the other inhabitants of this camp. What is happening? The strangest uh, thing uh, is that it uh, doesn't have anything to do with me, but with Lena. Is Lena the real person and I am the fake one? Maybe she come here to the same way I, I did? Exactly. That uh, could be the reason why she behaves quietly most of the time. No, wait. But what about her uh, knowing Elsa? No, something does not add up. Okay, 27 minutes, so I will end the episode here and see you next time, goodbye.